this is Daniel Mart, and I'm going to be reviewing 28 Days Later. And this movie stars Killian Murphy, Naomi Harris, Brenda Gleeson, Christopher Eric Glaston, Megan Burns, and Noah Huntley. Before I begin, though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual. For those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual, starting now. <laughs> Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch this movie comment already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, then never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So basically, we have this guy called Jim, and he was in some kind of accident right before the apocalypse, and when he wakes up in the apocalypse, he is at this hospital, just like The Walking Dead, like Rick, he's at this hospital, and now he's trying to find people to survive with, basically. And he comes across the, um, these two people, Selena and... Mark, both of them are explaining him, explaining to him the situation, you know, what happened, what's going on, and hey, zombies are here, they are fast as shit, do not get caught by them, because then you'll be infected and you'll be a zombie. I mean, they're technically not zombies, per se, I mean, because they don't really die, they're just infected, but for all intensive purposes, they are zombies, so get over it. So yeah. So they're like, don't get caught by the zombies, or you'll be infected, and you'll be diseased with the rabies, and then you will die. And these zombies or infected are fast as fucking balls. Like, World War Z type of fast. They eventually come across these two people, Selena and Jim, because Mark died in a zombie fight. So Selena and Jim come across these two people, Frank and his daughter Hannah, and basically now they're trying to survive. They think there's this military safe zone. You'll find it, but Frank dies. And at the very end, it's found out that these military people are complete dickheads and douchebags, and they want to kill Jim, possibly rape the girls, Hannah and Selena, and then kind of do away with them. Jim and Selena and Hannah are not having that, so it's basically those three versus the whole entire military or whatever's left of it, and it's pretty intense. And at the very end, they're in this smaller cottage trying to find other people to survive with. They're making signs, they're waving to passing jet engines, jet planes that are up above them. So yeah, it kind of does have a bit of a happy ending, which is one of those things I do like about the movie, I do like the happy ending, however, there's there's about three or four different endings that were originally intended, and I feel like those three or four other endings that were originally intended would have been a bit more realistic, in my opinion, it would have been a bit more better. Yeah, but I do would have preferred those endings rather than the happy ending we got, although the happy ending is still good, in my opinion. So, yeah, the one thing I, I really like about this movie is just... That it basically rejuvenated re the whole zombie genre because during this time, the early 2000s, late 90s to early 2000s, you didn't really have that many zombie genre media, so technically. I mean, you had Residential Evil, which did kind of get the ball rolling. Then you had The Walking Dead comics, which made a bit of an impact initially. It wasn't until the TV show where that became popular, but The Walking Dead comic book series really m made a bit of an impact, in my opinion. So there's then, and 28 Days Later, along alongside Shaun of the Dead and the Dawn of the Dead remake, really, I think, blew up the whole zombie genre and this is one of those things I really just like about it the fact that it just blew up the whole zombie genre because it's awesome zombies are fucking awesome if we didn't have if this didn't happen we wouldn't have the walking dead that is my logic as flawed as it may be because there was a, there was a walking dead comic book the only thing I really want to know in regards to the walking dead comic book is who thought of that beginning first was it 28 days later or the Walking Dead. The acting is actually really good. Killian Murphy, or Cillian Murphy, however you say his name, he's really good. He's mo I know him from all of the Christopher Nolan movies he's done, so Inception and all three Batman movies. I know he's been in, so he's actually a pretty good actor, in my opinion. Um, I do want to see a bit more of him in the future, because I, like I feel like he's a bit underrated. Yeah, I mean, Naomi Harris and Brenda, Brendan Gleeson and everybody else, Megan Burns, they all give a great performance, in my opinion, really good, in my opinion, and... Aside from the fact that this just rejuvenated the zombie genre, the only other great, not the only, but the, the other great thing uh, about this movie is the fact that it has some gory deaths. Like, there's, there's some deaths here, like zombie deaths that are gory as shit. And the zombies look great. Like, you have these zombies kind of just spitting out blood, spewing out blood. And that's how they kind of get the infection around. They're spewing blood to try to infect people. Because even if you get bit, you do turn into a zombie. Because, again, they're infected, but besides the point. So, just a way they kind of kind of, um, show the deaths of some of these um, zombies is pretty cool. You have this one guy. He, he's not a zombie. There's this um, Jim was going up against one of the military guys. And he basically puts his thumbs through the guy's 
I saw it that was gory as shit, in my opinion. And yeah, you have some pretty gory deaths. You have one where Hannah, she's driving a car with one of the military guys. And the military guy is just, like, putting a gun at her head. She's like, just drive. Us, us two are going to survive. And Hannah, she knows what's going to happen if they actually do escape. So they had this one zombie kind of running right behind them. And she puts a fast break in the car. The guy's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then gets grabbed by the zombie from the back. Because the zombie was able to break the glass from the back of the car. And he just gets ripped out of the car and gets to get in. And that was another fantastic death. There are some great um, deaths, in my, in my opinion. And then there's this whole shootout scene between the military and the zombies where these zombies are just coming towards the fortress and they're just shooting up. That was great, in my opinion. You have some great um, deaths and gore and action in this movie, and I really do like it for that. Overall, though, it's a really great movie, in my opinion. Um, just the ending, I feel like it could have been a bit more realistic, given the way how this movie was going. But, yeah, overall, just great. It has great intensity. It's got great suspense, great thr thriller. Thrillers, I suppose is how you say it. And again, some pretty great scenes. The tunnel scene, in my opinion, is also amazing. And even after that, like, enjoy the little things. Like, Zombie Land says, enjoy the little things. They have this one um, escapade in this grocery store where they're just getting food, they're getting supplies, but they're really having fun. Again, enjoy the little things. It's great, in my opinion. And again, I do think that when it came to, like, the late 90s to early 2000s, this movie really set kind of a standard for zombie movies. Um, for of the modern age, similar to how Night of the Dead set up its own standards during that time. This, along with Shaun of the Dead, and Zombieland, and Residential Evil, and any other movie that came out during this time, Dawn of the Dead, I do think it kind of set up a standard. So yeah, overall though, I did enjoy it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent. I'll give this movie a 9 out of 10. It's just a great movie. Just the, the ending, I think, should have been a bit more realistic. I really would have loved to see the alternative endings they had for this. But aside from that, that's really my only complaint. And that, even after that, it's a bit of a nitpick. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.